Hey everyone, I want to show you some paints that I got. This is to hopefully maybe help people who want to add some fun colors to their color selection. This, I would say, you should get these colors unless you really, really love them as they are. These would be on top of your basic primaries um, because you can't mix all the colors from these and a lot of these are opaque and a lot of these have white in them which will give you muddy mixtures. You may want that. Um, I just really really love these colors and I have a lot of primaries already that I can mix pretty much any other color so this is just for fun and convenience and I prefer at the moment um, opaque colors so when possible I go for the opaque version these are all except three these are all opaque and then three are semi opaque so let me show you the colors this is gold yellow and i'm trying to see these are all amsterdam this is by royal talents where i am in austria and europe these are really really affordable and very widely available in different sizes you can see there's just a few colors i took the small ones i wasn't sure i wanted a big tube um, there are bigger tubes than these. These are, how much is this? 120 mils. And then there are also like really big boxes. A very good option if you're on a budget or you just really like these colors. Let's see if there are pigments. Yeah, this is PY74, PO34, and PW6. So there's also white in this. Then we have Venetian Rose. There's another light uh, pink that I think I have somewhere, which is also nice. But this one, as you can see, it's kind of on the peachy side. So Venetian Rose, this is PW6, white is the first pigment, PR112 and PY42. So there's um, pink here and then some yellow to make it more peachy. This is Quinacridone Rose. This one is sadly only semi-opaque. And this has PV19. This is permanent red violet light. This is opaque. Pigment is PR122 and PW6. This is cobalt blue uh, ultramarine. This is sadly only semi opaque. The pigment is just PB29, which is ultramarine. This is, I really like these two uh, teal colors. This one is slightly, I don't know if the camera catches the, the differences. This one is a little greener. I think both of them are slightly greener than they show up on screen. This one is turquoise blue, it's opaque, and the pigment is PB15, PG7, PW6, so very, very common pigments. We have phthalo blue, phthalo green, and white, again, this, if you have phthalo blue and phthalo green and white, uh, you can mix all these kind of shades. This is turquoise green. I love this color. This is opaque. And it is, again, same pigments, PW6, PG7, PB15. So phthalo green, phthalo blue, and white. This is emerald green. This is opaque. And I wasn't sure I was going to like this color, so I got the little tube. This is PG7, phthalo green, PY74, so a yellow and white, PW6. And then this one is olive green light. It is sadly only semi-opaque. I found that it's hard to find opaque olive greens for some reason. Pigments are PG7, again, so phthalo green, PY74, and PY42. Let's start painting. I will actually use some new paper that I picked up. I am a huge, huge fan of Hannemühle papers. They are uh, German, so kind of as local to me as it can get, uh, being in Austria, neighboring Germany. And I saw this block, I'm not familiar with this. Uh, this is as, it says mixed media universal block, so kind of universal, as you probably understand, uh, 310 GSM, 30 by 40 centimeters, so these are the me measurements in inches. Um, I don't know if these are available in the US and if they are, if they kind of changed the size to more traditional um, US size. 
I don't know, but here 30 by 40 centimeters in Europe is very, very um, common. And also it's very easy to find photo frames that you can frame your artwork. And this is 25 sheets and it says watercolor, gouache and acrylic. I haven't tried this paper and I'm curious to see. And I also picked up, I get questions all the time about the paper that I use for my watercolor painting. So I'll show you that in a second. But let's take a look at this. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. So this is a block, which means it is glued on all four sides except one corner. And I will show you the texture. So I like to have a little bit texture. And I'm excited to try this. And then I also picked up, as I always do, I picked up two of these blocks. These are the papers. If you see me painting on watercolor, uh, painting with watercolor, 99% of the time it's on this paper. I get questions about this all the time. It's unnamed. I see it in my local shop. It is incredibly affordable um, and it's super heavyweight. So you can see this is 430 GSM. So 200 pound paper. Again, 30 by 40. And in one block there are 15 pages and it's just called Aquarelle which is watercolor in German. And this is what is on the cover. And this is how the paper looks. So very, very similar to the other one that is titled Mixed Media. We'll see the differences. This one is heavier um, with a weight. So that's just like objectively a difference. But with the experience, I can't tell you yet. And I just love these. They are bright white. Um, they work really well for me. The colors stay vibrant and the granulation shows wonderfully on these. Um, if you work in layers, I mean, if you can get this paper, if you work in layers, if you do a lot of like glazing, um, you probably won't enjoy this paper because it's it's it behaves very much like student grade in the way that uh, color lifts very, very easily. So you can't do a lot of effective glazing and layering, um, but I don't do that. So for me, it works perfectly. Uh, and I've gone through, I don't know how many of these blocks. Every time I go to the shop, I grab a few and I just love, love, love this paper. So let's have some fun. I think, hmm, okay. Let's do this orientation. I'm just going to use my little uh, silicone wedge and start playing. And this wouldn't, I wouldn't call this like a, a full color palette for me. I would definitely need here some uh, yellow. So this one is the gold yellow. Then we have this Venetian Rose. This one is Quinacridone Rose. This is the Red Violet, Permanent Red Violet Light. This one is the Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine. So I think it's just, they mean kind of a cobalt blue hue. This is turquoise blue. Love this color. This is turquoise green. This is emerald green. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this one, but it might look good if I add something like yellow ochre to it. Yeah, as it is, it's not my kind of color, but probably with white or some yellow ochre, um, it could work. Good that I got a small tube. And then this one is 
the yellow olive green light. Really pretty colors. So let me show you a few other colors from their range. This one is light rose and it's a very, very light pink. It is also opaque. Pigments are, obviously there's a ton of white and PV19. That's how it looks. Then we have quinacridone rose light. So this one is quinacridone rose and then this one is quinacridone rose light. And then this one is permanent red purple. Um, this one, these two are opaque. This one is transparent. I like to paint on it with this white gouache stick to kind of see what you get if you add white. This color is also opaque and it is ultramarine violet light. It's not the prettiest shade. Oh, I didn't clean my brush. My wedge. It's not exactly my kind of purple, but sometimes it works. You know, if you put it between these two, let's see how that looks. Mm. Still not, not a super pretty color to me. So these are the other colors that I have from the uh, Amsterdam range. Yeah, the last color I want to show you, this is warm gray, also from this range. It is also opaque and it's a interesting choice of neutral to have so i wanted to show it to you yeah these are the colors the paper i can feel that it is buckling a little bit so i don't know if it's like the greatest for wet media but we'll see i think for just like playing around with color um it'll be a good option here are again the colors i really like them actually i really like all of them this one when I just look at it on its own, it's definitely not my favorite color, but when I see it with these two, I feel like it has a place here in my rainbow of colors. And what I do feel like I might need, like the one thing that kind of would make it a bit more complete is a good yellow, which I have to say, I it's not so easy for me to find. Like right now I have this one from Flash Paints, which is, yeah, it's okay. And then I also have this one, also from Flash. So this is just like a little bit, it is brighter and not so like peachy. It's fun to play around. And if you are not a huge fan of brushes and washing your brushes all the time try tools that don't need washing and see how they feel for you so let's see just adding some other colors for fun whoops that's a lot that is a lot I'll cover a lot of this with white, but I just wanted to play around. I think one of the important things when you get new supplies is to start using them immediately and also try to incorporate them as quickly as you can. Use them with your other kind of go-to supplies. Do you want to get familiarized with your colors, with your supplies, as quickly as possible. Now, what is also interesting would be to add a little bit of white to all of these and see what happens. Um, let's take some regular white. And I'm just going to... This is If You Hate using a palette you don't have to i hate using a palette because then i don't know 
if I'll use up all the paint that I squeeze onto it and then where do I put it and I have to wait for it to dry and it just takes up space so maybe I don't need to and I'm just like I want to play around and see the different values I can get the different shades and different colors so it's just for fun and then I'm just going to use this bottom half for now to get rid of kind of paint that I'm not using now oh, I love this this color the problem is once I add this color to things all of these shades these like peachy shades look always so lifeless see I just get this kind of I mean these colors are not very different but this one has I feel like just a luminosity and vibrance to it that the other one doesn't now that might be a bad thing for you if your taste is different so you do you and you know choose colors that sing to you so let's try this pink now with some white have this and I'm going to grab a bunch of white and start mixing right on my paper because it's fun mm, and this is also the reason that I like very fluorescent pinks that's just me and my color sense really for me the appeal of the Amsterdam paints like this brand is because I can go to my local art shop and really stock up on paint and not get too precious with it and with a lot of like my other supplies because I'm so specific with my preferences uh, I have to order them online and then wait for them to come now I can you know stock up on things but sometimes it's just nice like if I want to paint a big canvas and I just want to do it I can go to my shop buy the canvas buy the paint so I try to find things that are available to me locally um, they're not always my absolute top favorite but there's just something to be said about the ease and convenience so I can see that actually adding a lot of white to my beloved luminous rose um, gives me very close colors to this one now let's add some white to this color just want a little bit of it now with the blue this will be fun I like these two colors next to each other that's a pretty combo Ooh, that's pretty yeah I really like this color straight from the tube and then also when you add white to it it's very pretty very very pretty my kind of color it's like perfect minty color and it is opaque so that's a big thing because I have colors very similar like this one that I love the consistency of it this is water green from flash paints I love the consistency but it's not fully opaque so you just have to use it a bit um, thicker with a thicker hand application let's see what this one does emerald green what it does with the white that's a pretty color yeah this is very pretty when you add white to it it's not very different from this it's just a little bit greener you could tweak it with some yellow if you wanted i hope you enjoyed this video and paint play i continued to paint and play after i switched off the cameras and went in with some more colors with my favorite bright pinks and violets and also as you can see added a lot of white on top and just had fun playing and so I hope you feel inspired to do the same um, it's just really really fun and can be very therapeutic and calming to play like this with colors you love with tools you love so I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you in another video soon.